is uh, Marty Kogish, and this is Marty Sparovich. And uh, so, uh, starting to take a crack at the, uh, the front disc brakes and stuff. So, uh, just to kind of show you what uh, what we're dealing with here, uh, got uh, got this piece that needs to come off. This is uh, where the steering rack hooks into, and this. Uh, this uh, pulls the wheels left and right, just send it here, um, and then uh, rotates on this uh, kingpin here. And uh, this mine's actually in good shape; it's nice and loose, and it moves good. Um, I just need to replace these uh, these bushings and those those A arm things that I was cleaning up in the the last episodes. They uh, they hook on. Uh, let's see, uh, I believe this side. And uh, the uh, shock absorbers hook on this side, and then they mount onto the uh, onto that cross member. So, uh, just to give you an idea how that works, so there's there's bushings in these things that, that need to repla be replaced. This uh, this rubber is really hard and, and icky, and I'll get a lot nicer ride if I swap those out. And then uh, right here we've got the uh, the, the disc brakes. Um, kind of take a shot on the ink on the side here. Um, so it's basically, it's uh, just these two bolts right here need to come out. Uh, and uh, the two sides of the, uh, these aren't meant to be taken apart, so the two sides of this uh, stay together. And uh, in here we've got our, uh, we've got our actual brake pads and stuff. There's just two pins that pop out here and then these slide right out. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to re replace the rotors or not, but probably needs needs new bleeder screws up here. Um, but I'm just going to pull pull these things off and uh, uh, start cleaning them up and stuff. So uh, that's that's what I got going on today. So uh, okay, so we're about halfway through this now. Um, I've got these things that the tie rods uh, hook into that were previously right here. Got these taken off and all cleaned up and purdy. Um, and then uh, got the calibers off and I've got them all painted too. So um, I used a, uh, a high temperature uh, uh, caliper paint for, for painting these as opposed to the normal engine enamel I'm using on the other stuff. So because the uh, oh, calipers, uh, your brakes they heat up <laughs> and normal paint will just bubble off. But one thing I was unsure of, if I don't know, maybe one of you guys can respond and send me some info. I didn't prime it or anything because I figured, well, the primer would just be like normal paint and would bubble off. So I don't know if, I, uh, if I'm wrong, wrong in my thinking, but I just took it down to bare metal and, and painted it with the caliper paint. But I don't know if you have a better method. Uh, Go ahead and send it to me at martysgarage.gmail.com. And uh, let me just set this down. Um, so, taking, taking this stuff apart and these, uh, taking apart the kingpin turned out to be a real fun task. Pretty much everything uh, I've taken out of, off of here has needed a whole lot of fire uh, <laughs> to get the bolts loose. Um, that's map gas, um, but kind of had to heat up most of the bolts uh, red hot in order to get them to come loose. And uh, and this right here, the uh, the kingpin. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, normally this shaft goes through here. This guy sits on top of here and comes out. So this goes through. Da 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 da. -da, -da. <laughs> so um, the bolt that. Uh, sits on here was super tough to take off. Lots of fire for that one. And so this was this was pretty lodged in here. So what I had to do to get it off was I took this end and I've got this vise here. Put it in the vise. Um, and so this is kind of just sitting in here like this. And then I took this uh, hammer <laughs> and just did like full swings like this for a lot and use the uh, 
use the big hammer a little bit, <laughs> and eventually it it came apart. <laughs> and I don't think I broke it, so that's 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 a bonus. Um, but I'm about halfway through now. The next, I, I can't really. I've got to run to the store and, and get some more tools to do this. But uh, um, the next thing I'm doing is. Um, Got to uh, pull the uh, the wheel bearing out in order to get the rotors and the rest of this disassembled. So first, I thought it was just these nuts right here that that uh, I would need to take off, and then this would pull up. But that's not the case. I've got to take off uh, this giant nut thing here, and uh, there's there was a cap on here. I think I've got it cleaning my parts cleaner solvent stuff right now, but. Uh, just pop that off with a screwdriver and use some channel locks to remove it. Uh, and then there's a pin that goes through this, uh, uh, I think they call them tower nuts or crown nut or something like that. But I uh, pulled out the pin and so it's ready to go. I just, I don't have anything that big. So um, probably be one more snippet before we're done with this part of the project. But uh, uh, yeah, and I don't know. It's, I'm wondering if I should just, I, I have no idea how much wheel bearings cost, but if you can hear that. I don't know if that's a bad sound, but the other one doesn't make this noise. So, um, yeah.